This is high budget? Yeah. Bugatti collaboration pan out. This doesn't add anything to BDO, but this is very nice as an opening. Like, this is what you do as a good company. Like, it doesn't add value, but adds value. Welcome to BDO, everybody. Poor guys. <laughs> Can I start saying words? Damn. That's a good ass art. Get it? Because it's an ass. Aw, that's a Gaudion. Aw, that's adorable. Damn. Damn. That is. I wonder who did those. Where can I find these? I'd like to, like, maybe even commission some of these guys. Dude, some of these are so cool. Damn. Oh, is that the DK? God damn. Damn, some of these are so good. Some of these are so good. That's also good. Most significant content of the first half of the year is probably Atroxion, which is the dungeon. Or it will force join a party, need friends to play with. Falling behind, you don't play attraction. But don't worry, guys. I don't have friends, too. <laughs> you can consume Agris points, solely defeat monsters. Once per character and twice per account each week. Oh. The accessories can be crafted from clearing attraction on par with existing accessories. So new gear announced. Now, technically. A hundred and... A hundred fifty! Free pants for everybody! Boom, go redeem it. For 150 stag, boys. Now then, let's run it into most of you waiting for updates for the second half of the year. My man. For June 29th, new summer season. 29th. For example, Adventure has mentioned the difficulty enhancing to Wala Gear. Difficulty, what it is. Thank you for sticking to your balls! Good job. Boy, if only I could have this large area to myself. Yes. Mini server. What the fuck? My own little server. Just completely making a single player game. We're going to let them invite 30 ad others adventures to join. Granting access with the events complete special missions. 20 mini servers running around to get onto season servers. We plan to introduce concept feature normal servers. I, I'm still asking about these. This doesn't say a lot. Yeah, this is interesting. This is interesting. Mansions! July 5th? Wait, July? Today what? Oh, June. Hi, Dell. Yes. Please have more than furniture. Ooh! Snake! What the f- Final boss. I don't know how to pronounce that. Illezra. Biome July 21. So biomes are just basically a Traxian maps. 500 crowns. Wave of crown stones. That's the code. August updates. New mini game. Poker! <laughs> yes! Gameplay! In a game where adventurers facing alpha of its opponents using knowledge cards, they possess it. It's designed to be simple, understand the rules after once playthrough, you build a deck using knowledge cards to so strategy psychologi psychological warfare is key. An improvised version of Amity minigame you knowledge cards with the NPCs, other adventurers 1v1 battles. Two new regions to Red Battlefield. Ooh, nice. So, August 26, Extreme Monster Zone called Terror of Deep, Deep Sea. This is not a co op content. Season servers, however, this year we wanted to try something different. Season servers not limited just to just PvE. Oh. 
PvP season. I think PvP is an important area in BDO, which adventures can have a great experience regarding their growth skills and practice. Yep, yep, yep. Make new gear specifically for PvP only. 10v10! They mentioned it. Hey, more stat flexes. Oh, the gear stats. So if you're 650, you're in the 3%. Seasons of the Recom Tam. You will earn rewards based on your rank or some other record who achieve higher ranks will be ever special title or items, looks, and can transfer Arsha weapons. Motivation to succeed? Right. A mythical dine tier 10 and there it is i officially say that unicorns are all sold out now the sprint on water purposely lack hugely impressive skills why if adventurers have a perfect horse for unique features and powerful skills, they might feel less motivated to breeding horses. What? We specifically made it shit. Hey, trading rework. Firstly, market value of the trade items will be synced with ventures Interesting. So loyalty to the two traders. The more you do, the better stuff you unlock. Wagon, donkeys, and camels revamp. Sailboats is also in the works. Camels will court caravans. I never was interested in trading, so hopefully this will make me go into trading. Weapon exchange. They're just giving it away? On October 14th, LVR Realm will extend infestation into Calfion along with the addition of Black Star Raids, which is amazing. Hadoom infesting Calfion LMS servers will be regarded as endgame PvE content, requiring adventurers to have at least 290 or higher. For Hadoom infested Hex Mary, uh, Hex. Mary recommended AP is 340, which is I don't think possible. But with the weapons that we probably later we will get, it probably will be possible. Rebooting the existing classes? Reboot? Damn. Yeah, good news. Slippery Scallywax treasure chest. Wave of... Pirate loot. I kind of wish that they would just give away codes at the end of the stream. I can't read chat. Codes, codes, code, codes, code. Did you hear code? Co hey, I just joined the chat. Did you hear about the codes? I know you're watching the stream for the fast fucking 30 minutes. Did you hear about the codes? Therefore, we prepared content that will allow you current adventurers to guarantee chance to obtain. A Guaranteed chance? This is BDO. How is this guaranteed? Hello? What? Adventures can upgrade this exchange little by little, and once at its final level, it can. Well, rip those prices of those accessories. Oh, you can't list them. But. Well, good luck if you have a crescent narc or a tongue red. 10 bill. 10 bill for a pen. Chat, normally that accessory is 40, 50 bill. Or 40 bill. Bull. Oh, <gasps> yes! Fake uni chat! This deal, I, wait, I was waiting for this. That's fake. That's fake. That was the secret that I was keeping. Wait until it fucking... <laughs> How fucking sick was that, bro? Oh, new class. <laughs> Dinosaurs. Aww. That's sick.
do you? Water bender. Oh, oh shit. Oh, that slide. I dude, I would just slide. Hey. Oh, dolphins! Oh, it's a goddamn Aquaman! It's an Aqua Lady! What the fuck am I watching? Tsunami! That's a good class. Oh, goddamn! Shh! So yeah, I think, uh, please revamp training, hunting, alchemy, and trading. And can we get rid of skill mastery restrictions? But we didn't have plans to make big changes to training, hunting, or alchemy this year. However, after reading comments from our, uh, our adventurers, we regret making this decision. Our life skill contents may have been too profit-oriented or focused too much on efficiency. So we are planning to make improvements as much as possible in these areas. We'll also work on improving minor details. For example, you may have been disappointed when your horse gets beat down by a low level monster. Yeah. Well, we're looking to allow horses to gain additional experiences after level 30, all the way up to level 100. We promise such that such futures, while they may seem minor, will be implemented as soon as possible to reward the amount of time and effort our adventurers spend on training their horse or any other activities they enjoy. Lastly, while we don't have plans to release it this year, we are continuously working on big life skill content updates anticipated by adventurers. One of the feedbacks that caught my attention was from an adventurer who enjoys hunting and was hoping for an island full of animals to hunt but was disappointed when they when a tiny plot in Narcian was released. Fish farm. Well, looks like the fish farm. Oh, yeah. fish farm. Yeah, the yeah. fish farm. <laughs> Fish farming, yeah. okay. We haven't yet found ways to make this future interesting and we'll put off the development until we have better ideas. So yeah, the fish farm just... sounds really interesting actually, like the original. Currently, we do not yet have plans to add content to the great ocean areas. We have momentarily suspended work on diving suits to balance out gathering futures and we'll quickly come up with ideas for the usage of the crow coin. And we, pr we should prioritize the completion of the blue battlefield before improving our Amer ocean node wars. We will proceed with improving node wars after its completion. The new ship will be available, ob available soon enough. It's a project named Frigate, and officially known as the Aferia Dreadnought. Do you note that it will take more than the effort alone to obtain this vessel. Yeah, the top guild galley is still in progress. We'll try our, our best to complete updates in September at the latest. We also haven't yet started the development of Mythical Doom. It is the last of the dream yeah. wishes, so we appreciate any good ideas from our adventures on the official forums and website. No, no, just blue fire. Blue fire and ice. Uh, instead yes. of making adventures have six or seven pets out all at once, we are planning to add tier five pets. Previously, you had to exchange your pet to increase its tier, but for tier 5, we are looking for a variety of new ways to upgrade them. It might be like the existing exchange method, or it may cost some silver, or it could possibly even involve a whole new content. Once a pet reaches tier 5, its loading speed will see a slight increase and will potentially be able to learn new abilities. The next Fallen God armor is a helmet. However, we are not going to rush it. Our original plan was to update with the Mountain of Eternal Winter, but we don't have anything decided yet and we'll update according to Adventurer's Growth. We won't update unexpectedly, however, and we'll give you a heads up prior to the Fallen God's helmet update. The treasure oh, wow. Items. wow, Russia has two re merchant rings. Has 11,726 infinite HP potions. However, we want to stress that treasures aren't essential and that we wish to continue to preserve the value of these treasures by keeping them worthy of a challenge. Yo, let's ranger out! Yo, let's go! <laughs> Tamer? Like, nice Lan. hat. Wait, that's Lon? Ooh! Okay. Yes, this is Lon. 
When are you going to remove the cheering animation when looting a mass of pure magic? <laughs> yes! When? Uh, we plan to remove it next week. Oh! <laughs> Yo! I, lo Yo. I love it. I love it. Best change. Only preparing. The first one, we are creating a function where Dude. you can register a list of items in your warehouse. Oh. And with the press of a button, all the listed items in your inventory will be stored at once. This function will probably yes. be updated pretty soon. Also, we are adding a function where you will be able to search for items in the central market and in inventory. Uh, also, regarding friend list. That's really good. Good stuff, good stuff. Not good for life skillers, but overall good. Or DK statue. Look at that DK chat. Who's buying it? Raise your hand. I mean, chat, if you're going to get the DK outfit, you got to get the, the rest of the, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's about it about the Hydel ball. These are the rewards. I'm going to post them on the screen right now, the coupons. So please do redeem them. I am working late. This is already uh, into the evening and I'm trying to post this video as fast as possible because the questions are filling up and uh, hopefully you're going to or this video will try to answer most of them. Also, with the help of the extra dragon pet that we can get, I actually tapped my tier 2, so initial 2 bill investment turned into a tier 3. Nice. Thank you to all adventurers worldwide for joining us on 2021 Hydel Ball. There's one more special gift for you at Jay's Hammer of Loyalty. Check out soon to be announced GM note for all the info. Once again, thank you for the support. They probably saw some dude with a pitchfork outside their house. They're like, yo, John, can we just release the damn hammer? The, the, there's a mob <laughs> chanting hammers. G hammer for weapons. Same as last year. I, I can't wait until I read the comment like, oh, it's not an accessory hammer. Scammed. <laughs> Literally gets a f almost free pen accessory. Ugh. We didn't get the hammers, though. Well, welcome to the end of the video where we're gonna talk about what just happened and hopefully I will mention everything because I will regret it in the morning. So first of all, let's see how the pen market is doing. So first of all is the crescent, pen crescents are dipping hard. Pen narcs, they dipped hard but they're not still at the lowest price. Congrats are still at 37 bill. So let's see if I will remember everything. So uh, this is these are my predictions from I think May 24th, when I whenever I made the video. So new class, yep, Corsair or Cors co co something C, basically a mermaid. It's a fantastic looking class. I didn't expect it. Like it's like an aqua female type of lady. Uh, new summer beach event, nope. Winter region mentioned technically yes. They're working on it, but they didn't mention it really about any other details. So no dungeon release. Yup. Free coupons codes. Yup. If you want to write these coupons down, I will mention it again. These are all the coupons. Maybe they're going to add more, but you know, uh, Twitch drops. Yep. We got the Twitch drops. We got the 2000 loyalties, uh, stat flexes. Yup. Uh, season server. Uh, it's actually coming out sooner than I thought literally on 29th. So one 10 more days hammer giveaway at the last second Yup, yup, yup. We still don't have the details unless you already have the details while you're watching this video. So congratulations uh, New tier 10 is gonna be a dine. Yep. Congrats new gear piece technically with the dungeon release. We're getting a new earring and they also have mentioned about the fallen god new Helmet, which is technically gonna happen way future, like end of the year. Trading re uh, rework mentioned, yup, uh, with more details and caravans and all cool stuff. So maybe finally I can get into trading. Mansion release, also cool. Didn't really mention the details of like what's gonna happen with extra. Is it just gonna be a house where you can play stuff or it's gonna be extra content? We don't know. New Hadoom spots with the Calpheon and the highest spend end spots and new. AP brackets and all that, so pretty cool for end 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 game people. PVE PvP content arena type of deal. Yup. Uh, new PvP 10v10, 1v1s, 2v2s. Yup. Uh, life skill content has not been mentioned. What they mentioned about life skills was, if I remember correctly, sorry, we focused this year on profit instead of content, so we're gonna work on it next year. Fixing that one autopath that everybody gets stuck, nobody cares. 
They did fix the Mass of Pure Magic cheering, so now you don't cheer next week, so very nice. Dead God new BS gear, so we're getting a Dead God well, later something something with the new something something. So technically yes, but nowhere near. New ocean content, we actually, they are actually working on like the ocean content PvP and uh, new boats and uh, technically yes, but they're still working on it, so no. Uh, guild mission reworks, nope. So a lot of people panic regarding the tier 5 pets. What they said is most likely not gonna be paid to win, which is a huge part because pay to win, pay to winning tier 4 pets is expensive, so tier 5 would be... Uh, I don't know, I would need to take out the second mortgage. So what they mentioned is silver items or another wave content. So so next is a uh, new life skill. Nope. So definitely did not mention. So what else did I not predict, which is a new mini game, which is a poker, which is fantastic because new mini games inside the game of game keeps you in game longer and uh, is something to do while you're AFK waiting for the boss or something. So amazing. So massive your uh, massive pure magic, amazing. A lot of fixes. Mini servers that was surprising, where 30 players are maxed inside. Don't know a lot of info regarding that, but still good information. Free pen accessory uh, that will cost around 10 billion. Uh, the moon nail item that will will get today or tomorrow, whenever you're watching. I guess I'm in like I'm, I'm gonna get it in like an hour when I'm gonna be sleeping. A hundred level horses. That's interesting, because I always wanted a horse to defend itself, especially at tier 10, against low-level mobs who is just killing them, and he's just standing. CPVP content, yep, new boat Dreadnought mentioned, and also new guild boats. So yeah, those are the contents, these are the codes, please redeem them. But yeah, now I'm gonna go relax. This day was a long day, a Heidel ball stream, plus a YouTube video con- Hopefully I didn't, I didn't forget anything. If I did, I apologize. It's been a long day. Uh, hopefully you're gonna uh, still appreciate, and uh, hopefully this video will provide you with all the information that you need to know about the Heidel ball. If not, well, you can always ask in the, my Discord, or the people in the game, in the server chat, and just yell at them, and you, they usually help out. Uh, but yeah, super hot. I'm gonna go take a cold shower and pass out and have a nice day. So I wish you as well. Have a nice day. Go eat, go get some water, and uh, maybe even press the like button to help out with the YouTube algorithm. Peace out, have a nice one. Toodaloo, till the next time.